Los sándwiches de chola. Por fin de año está subiendo la carne. O caserita. De aquí de. De alto se va en coma. Dice que de otro lugar había llegado. No, pero dice que quiero el precio, precio local. Eh, Te digo que vengo de los Estados Unidos, tú me vas a decir en no, dólares. No, 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 no conozco yo dólares. No, no cobro. Ok, Emily's going for it, even though she's free, she's gonna get sick. Yeah, it's spicy. Yeah? Yeah. Mm. Very good. Yeah. So, what do you think about the chola sandwich? It's so good. It's really good. I mean, it does have onions, which I'll probably get sick from, but I think it's worth it. It's really good. So before we went on the trip, I really wanted to show the kids La Paz. Um, when Hilton and I went um, six years earlier, I really loved La Paz. I loved the big city, and so I wanted to have that experience again with the kids. So I was really glad that we were able to take them. Plus, um, Tia came to the United States, and we had such fun with her as a family, and so the kids were really looking forward to seeing her again. So it, it was a really great part of our trip that we were able to see both Hilton's aunt and all of his family in Santa Cruz. So while we were in La Paz, um, the first day we went to Valley of the Moon, which actually that was a last minute addition to our plans, I'm glad we got to go there. Um, and then our first full day is when we did the Telefericos all morning till the afternoon we went from La Paz all the way up to El Alto and back and that was a lot of fun. I, the views were amazing. I think that is a great way to travel. I think every big city should have that. You don't have to worry about traffic or congestion or anything. It was great. So, and then the afternoon of that day is when we um, went kind of to the downtown area to the San Francisco church and the markets around there. We were trying to find the witch's market. We had heard about that. Um, and then we also went and saw the government buildings and just walked around kind of that downtown area. So that was our first full day. And then day two is when we woke up super early and we got everyone up about 4.30 in the morning because we were planning to go to Copacabana. But when we got to where the buses usually leave, um, we found out that there were protesters blocking the road. And so we weren't able to go to Copacabana that day. So that's when we went to Tiwanaku. So we took Tiwanaku. a minibus to Tiwanaku. Um, and walked around there um, and then when we came back that evening we actually got to we didn't show it in our video which you, if you haven't watched it you should go back and watch our videos um, in Tiwanaku um, we got to spend the evening with um, a friend of ours that had come to the States Johnny and his family and so we got to see them which was a lot of fun and then day three we didn't get up as early as the day before. We just got up and said, okay, we're gonna try to go to Copacabana, and we actually got to go. So that's when we went on the big comfy bus. Um, it was beautiful views. Um, we got to ride the boat across at the, how do you say it, Strait, Strait of Dakina? Yeah. So that, I, that was, yeah, that was a cool experience. I wanted the kids to experience that. When you're riding on the bus, you have to get off at the Strait of Tequina, um, and the buses and cars go over on pontoons and the people go on boats, and so that's kind of a unique experience. And then we went, then once we crossed, um, we got back on the bus and went to Copacabana. Um, we walked around there, Hilton had a drone crash. <laughs> he crashed yes, his my drone. drone crash in Copacabana. So, you can also watch uh, that video. Um, and then we took a boat over to one of the floating islands and had a fresh, very fresh fish lunch, and that was really cool. The best. If mm -hmm. you go to Copacabana, go to the floating island to have lunch. You can scoop up your fish and they will cook it really fast. Yeah, and they fry it there. And we say in the in the video from from that afternoon that Fu and I are not we don't really like fish usually, but it was And the ticket to go from La Paz to Copacabana is only twenty-five Bolivian. 
that is a little bit over three dollars. It's amazing. Cheap. Yeah, it's very cheap. It's very affordable to travel in Bolivia. Yeah, the prices were amazing. The kids were really surprised at how affordable everything was. They enjoyed shopping at the market and getting souvenirs and things for friends and they just were amazed at the price. I actually have some footage from the kids talking about what they thought about La Paz. Um, what do you guys think about La Paz? Uh, it's like really packed, I'd say. Definitely. What do you mean packed? People, cars, Everything. buildings? <laughs> yeah, um, every single block has like at least 10 little markets or like food, little gifts, stuff like that. Souvenirs and such, yeah. Um, the whole like taxis and minibus thing was interesting. Unless it was like riding a roller coaster, and I don't know. Not really like it's a fun. Roller coaster. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you get like car sick really easy, I don't. It's probably not good yeah. because and like any space they can get to drive, they will. And like they're pretty aggressive drivers. Like you can't go like five seconds on the street without hearing honks. Yeah. There's an interesting contrast between like old and new because like there's uh, what's called the teleféricos, which is like a like a tram line type thing. Um, and that the president put in like two years ago, I believe, or something like that. And it goes over the city, you can travel around, and it's supposed to help like avoid the traffic and whatnot, because you know, you just go directly over it. But then at the same time, while you're going there, you see like old rundown buildings, you can see like kind of the age of the city as well. And then there's also the difference between like, you know, kids walking around with their, um, with their new iPhone and uh, Sony headphones on and whatnot, and then there's the uh, the natives who have like their traditional clothes, their hat, the bag that they wear around like like on their back over here. It's it's very interesting, and the city, both uh, La Paz and El Alto, that we visited a couple times, both have what I would say like big city vibes. Um, I really think La Paz is a beautiful area, and so we stopped and took some pictures. Um, I love the the scenery around it. I just think it's a very beautiful city, and it just to me looks so different that I just really enjoy how La Paz looks. So our last day in La Paz, um, we spent getting ready for a big family dinner. For lunch this afternoon, we were having a barbecue. I wish you could smell it. It smells so good. The kids trying to figure out how to open <laughs> bottles of sparkling fruit juice. Emily thinks it's a trap. Bolivia barbecue. Bolivia barbecue. Yapa. Yapa. Okay, beer with no alcohol. We're gonna have the kids try. So Bolivian, no beer no Bolivian beer with no alcohol. I don't understand all the hype around beer. All right. All right, so, uh, <laughs> That's what I imagine yeast tastes like. <laughs> How is it? Julie, <laughs> how's your pre Christmas dinner? Okay. So good. Well, why are you wearing so it? So good. We enjoyed having one last dinner with the family and getting to spend time with them, and then we went to the airport and flew back to Santa Cruz. Yeah. They took us to the airport, they didn't want us to take a taxi. So Gonzalo and Jaime, thank you, thank you again for <laughs> taking us to the airport. Thank you to everybody in La Paz. The family was so welcoming. They were so patient with me and the kids, not knowing much Spanish, and they just made us feel so welcome. Zero Spanish. So when we got back to Santa Cruz, it was Christmas Eve. Well, in Bolivia, we celebrate the first minute first minute of the 25th, um, so there is the first thing that happened is the fireworks. <laughs> I have to say fireworks in Bolivia was very different for me and the kids. Um, most of the kids' lives has been in Oregon and there's a lot of rules and regulations about fireworks and in Bolivia it was a free-for-all. Everyone was throwing fireworks at each other and 
You can have the fireworks that went into the sky that are illegal in Oregon. Well. So it was a lot of fun for the kids because it was just so different. So the fireworks were a fun part that is not a tradition in the United States to do fireworks on Christmas. So after fireworks is the dinner. Then you just sit down and say Merry Christmas to everybody. It's a uh, dance. when we asked the kids what their favorite part of the trip was, they all said the dancing on Christmas. They really had a fun time dancing with their cousins and their aunts and uncles and grandma. Um, that was a really fun part of the trip and I think something that they'll remember for a long time. So we hope that you have been enjoying these videos of watching our family on our trip in Bolivia. If you haven't already, please click subscribe and so that you can follow along and see all of our adventures.